All right, in this video, I want to show you guys how to do a couple different things. First, I want to show you guys how to uh, add some background to your um, Microsoft PowerPoints. And then I also will show you how to do some animations. Um, okay, so first things first, when you to add a background, basically there's different types of backgrounds that you can add uh, that I want you to add. Uh, obviously, there's some people that will just click on design and then choose. Uh, one of the design patterns that they have up here. I do not want you to do this that with my particular uh, assignment here. I want you to actually do it the hard way, uh, which really isn't that hard. Um, we're going to go ahead, then the first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and right click on the slide over here on the left that I want to put the background in. Uh, so go ahead and click right click on that and you'll see format background. And that will pop up this menu over here on the right. A um, couple different things you can do. First, just plain solid fill. If you just want to put add a plain solid fill, you just keep that button clicked right there, and then come down here to the paint bucket, and you can go ahead and pick a different color. Um, obviously, you'd want to pick something that uh, you'll be able to see everything on it. Um, but preferably, I would if you're going to do something with just color, I prefer that you use the gradient fill. Um, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. There's a little more things that you can do with it. Um, when you first open up Gradient Fill, you'll see this um, particular setup where you have these four little uh, gradient stops. Now you can add more gradient stops if you want to. So if, you know, right now I have four. If I want to add another one, I'll just click the Add One. If I want to get rid of one, I can click Remove a Gradient. Uh, we'll stick with four right here, and I'm, basically what I'm going to do is each one of these tabs I can change the color of. So I'll start with this one, and we're going to make this, um, see how yellow looks. Change this one to a little bit darker. This one a little bit darker than that. And then this one back to light again. So you can, you can see you have that kind of blend from one to another. I'm going to make that even lighter, I think. There we go. Uh, so, so how you put them in here is kind of up to you. Um, uh, and it just kind of gives it a little bit more interest rather than just plain a, a plain color. All right, so then the another thing that you can do, um, which most people like to do, is to add a picture background. Now, to add a picture background, basically what you would do is you're going to go ahead and go to Google, and you can search in images and you want to go ahead and search. You can just search backgrounds if you want. Uh, and when you search that, it'll come up with all kinds of different backgrounds that you can use for your PowerPoints. Um, depending on the one that you're doing, uh, you know, you can choose one that kind of goes along with what your title might look like. Um, here, I'll go ahead and use this one, I think. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that. I'm going to save the image when I do that. Okay, so after you right click on it, you'll save the image, and then you're gonna, you can just go ahead and save it to your downloads. And then once that downloads, basically what you'll do is you'll come in here, you're gonna change from gradient fill now to picture and texture fill. So go ahead and click that, and then you wanna insert a picture from a file. Okay, so since we just downloaded that, we're going to go ahead and go to our downloads. And there's our picture that we just downloaded. We're going to insert that then as our background. Okay, so that's something that you can do. Um, and those are our basic ways to go ahead and, and add background uh, to, to your different um, slides. Um, one of the things that you might want to think about when you're searching things is if you have a specific theme like family or um, your sports teams or something like that, you might want to search that as your background and then you can come up with different ways to put that in your background as well. Um, another type of background that people like to, do, to use are GIF files. Um, so if I was to go ahead and type in backgrounds for that, you will get all kinds of different GIF files that you can put in there. Um, 
you know, sometimes people like to do like the spirally things and things like that. And that, that kind of looks kind of neat when, you, when, when they're in there uh, in the background. Let's see what this one does. It doesn't seem to be working. Sometimes it takes a second to, to load in. Um, to start working. Alright, one of the things I like to do, I'm going to put uh, a star field in and GIF and um, try to find one here that kind of goes with what I have on mine. Uh, where's it at? This is the one I like. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image just like I did the other one. And unfortunately, you'll see right here, it's not saving as a JPEG file, or I mean a GIF file. So, I'm not sure why that won't. I saved that one earlier as a GIF, okay, there it is, GIF file. You wanna make sure that this says save type as type GIF image. If it doesn't say GIF there, it's not gonna be a GIF file. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Then I'm going to go back here to my PowerPoint, click on File, and then here's the download. This is the file here, the GIF, insert it, and now it's in there. Now you'll notice that it's not moving, um, and that's because we're still in edit mode. Down here in the bottom, you can see this button right here next, right next to Zoom. It looks like a little screen projector or a projector screen and uh, you can go ahead and click that and that'll play the slideshow right from where you're at and then you can see that it does actually have that uh, GIF effect. Okay so then another thing that I want you to do is I want to show you in this video is how to um, add animations to your slideshow. One of the things that you're required I want you to, you know, one of my requirements is for you to do animations. So. Uh, to animate something, you have to click on the object you want to animate. So right now I'm going to animate my title. Uh, and then I'm going to go up here to Animations, click on Animations. And then from here I can do different things. So there is this little drop down that will give you all of your different animations that you can put in there. Um, and to start with that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and click on the one that's the zoom. Okay, And then that will zoom in like that. I'm going to close out format background here because I do want to show you some ways to adjust to this. Um, I think when I play this, it comes in way too fast. Uh, so if I was to, you know, show you this, preview this, you can see it kind of comes in, it zooms right in there. And I want to actually make it uh, come in a little bit slower than that. So there's ways to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on animation pane. And over here will open up all my animations. Then I'm going to get this little drop down and I can change my effects. Uh, options here and with the timing I can change it to um, how much I want to delay it. If I want, don't want it to start right away I can maybe delay it a second and right now it's the duration of the animation is half a second and I think that's way too fast. So I'm going to make it uh, let's go three seconds and see what that does. We're going to go ahead and hit OK and then that comes in a little bit slower, and I like that better. So you can kind of play around with that, uh, make it how you like it. You can also change how it starts. If you want it to start automatically without having to click, then click change it to start with previous, and then it will start um, the animation as soon as the slide uh, opens up. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do, so I wanted to, say I wanted to add a second animation to that. I can't come up here now and, and click on one of these because if I do that, it's not going to add an animation. It's just going to change the one I already have. So what I need to do is click add an animation. So to add a second animation with this, and this time I'm going to go ahead and click on, uh, where's it at, pulse. And that'll basically kind of make uh, it kind of blink. I want this to start after this one, so I'm going to go ahead and click change this to first after previous, start after previous. So then you can see that it's going to start there. But I don't, I don't want it to do it just one time, I want it to do it multiple times. So again, I'm going to go back to timing, 
and we want to repeat it. So here's repeat. I'm going to change that to five times. Hit OK, and then you can see that it'll pulse like that five times. Okay. And I pretty much want everything animated, so um, I'll just fade in my name, and I'm again change that to um, after previous. And so now my slide will look like this. Okay, so that's what that's what you have for there. Um, when you're animating, I want pretty much everything animated. So you have a list on your second slide. Uh, the first thing you should animate when you do your list is your title of the, or the heading for this one. So again, I'm going to go ahead and click Add an Animation, and then this one I'll do. Uh, we'll bounce it in. All right, and then I want these to come in one after another. I don't want them all to come in all at once. I want them to come in one after another. If I was to just go ahead and click, say, wipe, where's wipe, there it is. See, it kind of, they all wipe in together. And maybe I want it to change the direction so I can go from left to right here. So they go across. But they're all coming in at the same time, and I don't want that. I want them to come in one after another. So again, I can do this change this to um, after previous. And now you can see that down over here on my animation pane, if I spread this out, maybe you can see it better. You'll see that they all come in one after another. Now another thing, I'm going to delay them a little bit apart. So I don't want them to come in right after another. I'm going to give them one second between each one. And so now it'll look like this. One, two, three and so on. So it gives the person that's reading it a chance to read it um, a little bit more time. Again, I have this one starting on a click. I want to change that to with previous, so it starts when the slide starts. All right, so that's basically the what you're going to do with your animations. If you were to add a picture, it's the same process. Basically, you click on the picture, you add, click on add animation, and you add a, a, the animation to it, and how it enters the slide. Um, so, those are some things that I want you to work on. Um, if you have questions, you can always uh, just ask, and I will come around and help you um, when I'm around uh, for that.